Ashley and Ashley Outlet of Idaho Falls are spreading good news by bringing you Feel Good Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. It is a beautiful day. You can tell we are outside Ryrie Elementary School. We're about to surprise two brothers in there who did a pretty miraculous thing several months ago. Their names are Jensen and Charles, and a fire started outside of their house in a field, and it was moving fast toward their grandmother's house and other buildings in the area. They grabbed their shovels and they started to get to work. They started to try to fight this fire. They called the fire department. The central fire arrived and they were able to put everything out before there was too much damage. But these little boys, younger boys, I should say, jumped into action. They wanted to get this fire out to keep it from spreading. We heard about what they did. We decided to surprise them for Feel Good Friday. Okay, so this is Gina. She's actually Jensen and Charles's grandmother. Gina, what do you remember about that day? Um, my son called and said, I think you got a fire in your pasture. And, you, and I said, mm, okay. And I looked out the door and I said, there's no fire. And he said, there's a fire somewhere, go check on it. So I called my son-in-law and said, you need to go check. Down the road, there's a fire. And so he went down and checked and the boys went with him and he sent him back for shovels and they run down. We all live on the same road. Oh, I'm sorry. We all live on the same road. So they run down to their house, got shovels, run back, was helping their dad. And then Charlie come down to his mom's, said, we need hoses. So she come to my house and said, we need hoses. So we gathered up all the hoses we could. And by the time we got back down there, the fire department was there. So these boys really kind of jumped into action to help, yes. help out. Yes, yes. And they'd never done anything like that before. And it was camping with their shovels, getting the fire out, and they worked really hard on going up the hill to my son's house and um, to get that fire out because they didn't want Uncle Jared's house to get burned down. Oh, well, good for them. Yeah, a lot so, of young kids might get scared or, you know, not know what to do, but these guys sounded like they knew what they were doing. Exactly. Charlie and Jensen are? I'm Charlie. And you are? Jensen. And how is the first week of school going, guys? Good. Yeah? Well, you got a cupcake, so how, what could be better than that? How about you? Going, having a good week? Yes. So you probably have no clue why in the world we're here, right? <laughs> yeah. We heard that a couple of months ago there was a fire out by your property. Do you remember that? What happened? It was an accidental wildfire. Our Uncle Jared forgot to drown it with water. There was some heat still underneath the dead stuff, the burnt stuff, and um, it it relit itself and, and brought itself back from the ashes. Right, yeah, it was apparently a fire that was controlled, but then it went out, or at least thought it was out, but somehow in the, in the debris it started again, right? I'm guessing that all the heat was trapped in the middle of some black fire, or some ashes. So you guys were there, and you all were hearing about this, and what did you do to help get it out? Um, we took shovels, and we were just smacking the fire. I tried to throw dirt all over it, but I kept it from going from the house, but it spread towards the bee farm a little ways away from our house. So that can be bad if bees and smoke, that's not a good combination. So were you nervous? What were you thinking? Um, honestly, I was just trying my best. My dad's anxiety had just spiked rapidly and he was kind of yelling at us. Telling you what to do. Get yeah. the shovels, get the hose. Well, you can't blame him because I probably well, would have done... he did grab the hose and started just spraying the fire down. And the fire department arrived, and, and it luckily not a lot of damage, right? It didn't hit your grandmother's house or anything? No. No, it didn't. It was mainly in our grandma's pit. Nice. Well, we do a segment every week called Feel Good Friday, where we honor cool kids who do cool things. Not just kids. We honor anyone who does cool things. Today, we're honoring you all. So Ashley Homestore wanted us to come, and I wanted to come and thank you. So we got you a couple things. Is that all right? Yes. We heard you like pizza. <laughs> yes, we do. What's your favorite kind of pizza? Cheese. Cheese? Just plain cheese? Yes. Um, mine is pepperoni, but since acid, since the acid reflects, I have to mainly eat cheese. Oh, man. Hey, 
throwing up. I feel the same th same way. The older you get, the more that acid reflux will kick in. Well, here's 50 bucks to Domino's. And you can get anything that you want there. Here's fifty dollars to Amazon. You gotta split it between the two of you. So that's twenty five. Twenty five each. You can buy what you want. And Ashley Homestore wants to give you guys a hundred dollars. You can go into their store and pick something up for your bedroom, a pitcher, a lamp, whatever you want. Maybe a, they don't sell shovels or hoses, but um, thanks you guys. Hundred dollars. There you go. That's for you all to split and. That package. <laughs> thank you. Might want to give them to your mom before you before she leaves. But uh, thank you for doing what you did. Good job, boys. Thank you. You're Thanks. welcome. Thank you. Ashley and Ashley Outlet of Idaho Falls are spreading good news by bringing you Feel Good Friday.